Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and this is Jen. Good morning. And we are here in Gardening Zone 6B in New England. And dude, it's time to, tr to I almost said it's time to trim the trees. <laughs> but literally. Little Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cut down these trees, prune them, and make them look good. We've got a pair of plums and a pair of cherries. Here, come look. So these are our two plums, and they're little. We've had them in the ground for two years, and then we've got these cherries over here. Uh, and I have no idea about anything about them. So Jen, though, knows lots of stuff. <laughs> so we're going to start with this one, our most ambitious plum. Um, and I think the first thing we're probably going to deal with is dead and diseased stuff, Correct. right? Correct. The first thing we're going to do is cut anything that does not look right. Looks like it might be a sucker, which is a long branch that doesn't have any branches coming off of it. Uh -huh. um, anything that has winter damage or bug damage. Um, or has peeling bark. I got a few spots. Okay, so let's start with that. Okay. All right, so this is definitely disease. Yes, one that needs to go. And we're gonna cut this way. If you cut this way, then water can sit on top of the branch and rot the branch. Oh, let's not do so that. So you wanna go this way. Okay, so a vertical cut. Yeah, so that water will run off and not collect in there. This one also has the disease. Business. My concern is that this disease is coming down into the yep. into the branch itself. It's starting right here. Okay. Um, so and you, this side of the tree is weighted yeah, more I than this that. side of the tree. Okay. So I'm not the least bit concerned about taking that entire branch off. All right, let's do it. And I know we're supposed to create like a vase shape, but yes. I don't really know what that means. It means that your tree needs to come up this way. Okay. Okay. Um, oh. Yeah. There's and I'm another. looking at that, but that's not even all the way around the branch. Okay. So this so is. So I think just... what we're going to do is we're going to try and save that branch and we're just going to get right in there. Okay. I wonder what this is. That's... It's probably from bugs. Oh, okay. It's probably bug damage. Okay. Now I was so, told I needed to open up the center of this. Yes, because you have branches that are crossing. And okay. where branches cross each other and the wind blows. They rub it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this one is rubbing on here and it's rubbing on there. Okay. So we're going to come right oh, down here. Oh, wow. And we're going to take this guy right out of the middle. Wow. Okay. Because he's... Do you want a bigger clipper? No. I just shopped it. So... Ooh, whoops. I got it. I hate you. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that takes that right out of that middle. Okay. Um, let's see what else might... This one is crossing right here. Yep. You can so already you're see take the dust just from rubbing against this other branch in the wind. Yep. Okay, so, so we're going to take that one out. We're going to take that one out. Wow. Okay. This one right here is kind of... It's about to cross. It's going to cross, and it's, gonna, it's kind of going in a weird angle. You want your tree to go up. Now, it's not like apples where we have to take off all the uprights, right? No, no. Okay. You, you can have a tree that comes down if you want, but I wouldn't suggest it on a plum. I don't think it'll do good for yeah. the fruit. I, I don't think it'll do well for the fruit either. Okay. But then the other thing we want to take off is some of these little guys in here. Just, oh, just little nibbles. Yeah, little things that are just, they're not doing anything. Okay. They're just going to end up being branches that cross other branches and... Get your healthy branches going. These I'll leave because this is probably going to be a good branch. This one probably okay. you don't need. But this one looks like it's going to be a good branch and it's not going to interfere with anything. Um, what about the height on this? Do we want it to be this tall? This has got to be like 12 feet tall. Um, that's up to you. Do you want to use a ladder or do you want to reach up and pull plums? I would far rather not use a ladder. <laughs> okay. So what well, I mean, do? well, Bill, what do you want to do? I kind of like them tall. Okay. I mean, we can always prune it down later. And you can always use, a, there's a pole that goes up that has a basket, basket on it with a razor at the top to cut your fruit. Oh, I've seen the one with the, the forks. <laughs> oh, they, they have one with a little razor. You just go up and it cuts it and it drops in the basket. Oh, we may need to get one of those. So they're very inexpensive. If you can see the difference between this branch and your other branches. See how it looks very different? 
It does. It's red. It looks more like a willow. Okay, so that's a sucker. There's no branches coming off of it. Oh. Like this has branches coming off of it. Okay. So this is a sucker. That's, that's sucker. just taking energy. It's not going to become anything. Okay. And you've got a few on that branch. Go Look on at there. that. Go on there. Do one they do there. this when it's stressed? You've got one here. Is this a sucker? One here. Nope. No? No. Nope. Okay. That one's getting branches. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay, so. But we can take that. The nubblies. Yeah. These little nubblies that are branching. It's got out. a little bit of frost damage at the end, but I'm going to leave it because it's got a bud. Yeah, it looks like it's recovering. It's got a beautiful bud. Nice. And as long as it doesn't grow up and interfere with this branch. Okay. We'll leave it. Cool, cool. So it looks like your branches aren't crossing each other anymore. Yeah. You know what, Bill? I really do want it short. Okay. Can we do that? Just yes. from me being a short person. How short do you want? Well, well I can we'll reach to up to, to about where, here. Yeah, we can cut where, we can't cut below this. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, we can cut these three off. And again, I'm making sure I'm not going flat. I'm going at an angle. Right. There. Okay, see, I can reach to there. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one will be a little higher. Okay. Do plums make their fruit along the stems or do they drop like cherry or no? Um, no. Like apples or? They will be, um, they'll get come out on your shorter branches. Okay. Right at the ends. Cool. See, we didn't get any last year because it, um, we got a rainstorm like right after they blossomed. Oh no. Yeah. Thank you, you all. <laughs> and we're not cutting anything that's like leader, right? Nope, we're just cutting excess branches. We're leaving where these, hmm, where's one I cut? This one. Yeah, so we want to make sure that we don't go below this nub right here where all the big branches are splitting. Okay. Because that so brings us down into the main branch and that can kill the branch. Oh, okay. What you're doing is taking the branches off of this trunk part here. So gotcha. that'll help this all right. grow out. Yeah, so this will all grow out. Okay. Why don't we take them right, you want to take them right off? Yeah, he's starting to cross now. And then you got just two on the other side. This is two long, long ones. Yeah, so we got to go up past that nub. Yep. <laughs> so we're coming, because this is a main branch, we're coming to here and not cutting off that, that nub in at the top. Because we'll get new growth from here, right? Right, you'll get new growth from here. We can always continue to trim that if you want it short. Um, but we don't want to do anything on that main branch. Yeah, this one do we want yeah, to just... we got a nub right here oh, okay. so we can go right here okay. there you go is that better i feel so much better <laughs> <laughs> okay you got a lot of damage down here from yeah. something do we want to saw that off now uh, no i would save that for the fall that's a big cut okay this that looks like it's starting to become diseased as well so i'm going to take oh, this one off okay so we're going to go right at this nub right here before right. that can become. Oh, so it's this bit? Yeah, right there. That, so we cut this branch off because of that. That does look pretty gnarly, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. And if you look at the difference between this and this, mm -hmm. it just, it doesn't look healthy. No, it doesn't. So, I mean, you do have some buds up here, but. Okay. Yeah. And okay, this so... is just a nasty looking. Yeah. Branch oh, <laughs> was, that was just crossing everywhere. Yeah. So if you look at these and see the beautiful color on them, uh -huh. these are nice, healthy new branches mm. with the green. This is going to be a beautiful one. See how just going to take its and... tip off here. And see, if you do this with tomatoes, you kill the tomato plant. Like it won't oh. grow anymore. So I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm, I saw... I'm a little curious as to where this came That's from. That's a sucker. It's coming right out right of the bottom. bottom. Well, let's get him out of there. Okay. Oh. Right here, we've got a little yuck. Okay. Oh, yeah. It looks like this one wasn't doing so well, so it sprouted another one. You want to just take the whole thing so off? So I'm thinking... Yeah, probably should. 
usually just take that right off. Okay. And we'll see how this does. Cool. Where these curves are, instead of having a straight branch, mm. something was damaged here, so it grew around it. We had a tough winter. Um, so a lot of stuff just got shocked by the roller coaster temperatures. Can you see the splits that are starting in here? I do. Okay, and you've got another one starting here. But I, these are both really healthy right now. Uh -huh. So in the fall, we'll see how this grows and develops and we'll decide which one of these to take. Okay, I have a feeling it's gonna be this one. Well, cause this is gonna weigh and split eventually. Ah, I see. That's gonna split right there. Okay. But if I take the middle one off, it'll heal across there. Oh. So let's, let's right. see which branch develops more. We got it, okay. Little friend. Are these like just basic good rules for stone fruit? Yes, anything, not even stone fruit, um, apples. Oh. Um, I'm trying to think, I have Asian pears that have the seeds. Um, anything that's diseased, anything that's crossing, anything that looks like a sucker that doesn't have buds or you know, branches growing on it. it. It's a good, and then balance your tree. Okay. So that as it grows, it's not getting lopsided. If you look at this, this tree, one already it's leans. leaning a lot. So it really needs to be staked up here. Okay. okay. Both of these may be tricky. They had gamosis yep. earlier in the uh, fall. Mm -hmm. You can see I trimmed some stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I really don't know about much about what I've got to do here. Um, just when you trim, remember to trim this way because a lot of water if sat that on this. That broke. Oh, that broke? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and prevent more water from going down in here. There we, there go. we go. So water will run off that. And I think I'm just gonna take that. Might as well. Right out of there. Let's not stress that poor little tree out. There you go. Okay. Uh, should we take this number now while we're... Yeah, I'm going to take... Because he looks... Oh, dead. Yeah. Say, he looks dead. Not dead, sure. damaged, disease. Those are the three Ds, right? Yes. Dead, dead, damaged, and disease. Yes. Let's cut this at the angle so the water runs off. Thank you. Um, you have some really good buds on this tree. I do. I'm, I'm pretty happy. This looks so this much better than it did dead. last year. I dare say this up here is dead. I, I would guess. Okay, it looks pretty, pretty snappy. Let's see what else is going on I'm just going to cut this at an angle again so the water doesn't keep running down into these holes. Thank you. There that you might go. be the source of the gummosis. I mean, we had, oh, so you can see down here, like stuff broke yeah. before I trimmed it. Um, we just don't want any with it. It could pull. But again, we got the... You know, yet next year I'm going to watch this video to remember how, how to, to trim do this. trees. We're going to cut this one at an angle just to get some of that water out of there. Okay. It's really collecting in there. But you can see messy. the healthy stuff. You see the healthy stuff coming up around it? I'm get close. I do. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, you got a lot of healthy stuff coming around that. So. Oh, look at that healthy stuff underneath. Wow. It's almost it's like deep reading. It. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see the green wood. Yep. And, and you can get some at the co-op or tractor supply or whatever. You can get some tape. and. I was thinking that the grafting tape. The grafting tape. The new growth on it. I'm just concerned about some of these where, the, where there was a lot of breakage. Yeah, the breakage like immediately had gamosis and it yeah, was this, leaking. This has a hole where I'm sure water's getting in, but I can't trim that one any closer. Just let it be. Yeah. If it dies off, it dies off. You know, I mean, a lot of this is self pruning. Yeah, I'm a fan of 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 stun. Do you know about stun? I haven't heard that. So so stun is um, sheer total total utter neglect. Oh, and okay. It's basically, like asking your plants to pick out the best ones. <laughs> um, but people do survival this. of the fittest. It's a real tree thing. Yes, I'm finding it out. is. It and is. And I want to do this with either hazelnuts or um, 
What do you call chestnuts in okay. the yard this okay. year? Okay. I've got chestnuts. Just came out of the crisper. Nice. You want some? Yeah. All right. I'll Love split chestnuts. them with you. <laughs> oh, yay. Thank you so much. I mean, you might need to replace a couple of wards. Yeah. You know? But it's all the star bits. We've got those. Yeah. Those it's, it's pallets. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I uh huh. <laughs> No. What's going on, girlfriend? They'll probably remember it. Oh, what's that? Oh. Open it and see if they know what to do. Because we have them trained. And now, what kind of a bucket do I need to... Just one that slides in, right? When you go to the co-op, uh -huh. you want a, a bucket for the milking stand. It'll screw right on here. Okay. And it'll have two holes. Oh, it's that thing. Yes, and that'll screw right here. Okay, I will take that in and clean it instead. <laughs> Good girl. See? After uh, we get your brother a... fixed, we're gonna bring him over. Try this, Bill. They should remember it. Well, what I'll do, I think, is just to train them. Um, once I get the other one off, I'll fill it and leave this open so that they can. They get used to coming up and putting their head in. Yep. Yeah. What's that? Should we listen to babies? Oh, I would love that. Wanna listen to babies? Okay. So you're gonna want her other side. Okay, drum, or pipes, go on. Not you. Her. Good girl. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but look at He's kicking the... <laughs> What's going on? Baby's kicking the gobbler. Oh my gosh. Where'd you move to there? I don't know. Easy does, easy does. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> she me. Baby. Aha. Got it. Heartbeat. Every time I find it, she moves <laughs> like a good baby. Yeah. See the heartbeat? Uh huh. So 52? Well, it just picked it up. So okay. It, yeah, and see that goes. It's not picking it up long enough to get the full heart rate. We got a baby rolling around yeah. in there. See it? It's moving like crazy in there. If you want to feel, there's a knee right here. Just go ahead and push. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you kick you? It's right here. Yep. Right here. Oh. You want to go, ma'am? Go ahead. Good girl. I love the tiny little toy udder that we've got right 142, now. 142, it said. 142? Yeah, we calculated it to 142. Is that good? Yeah, that's great. Okay. Yeah, you can see that she's got a good otter. It looks like it's got, I don't know if it's like perfect attachments or anything, but it's still, it's starting to actually look like a little udder. Oh my goodness, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That's a nice udder you got going there, lady. I do. You letting daddy rub your tummy? It's probably shedding and itchy. Probably. You feel good. Yes. I love the white spots on your nose. Thank you. They have some beautiful horns, those two. That's my girls. 
thought I would give you a quick update on how the bear roots are doing. Uh, the Marion Berry and the Reliance Grape aren't doing much, but they don't look deadish. Um, you can see the grape has already got leaves on top. I'm not quite concerned yet about the Marion Berry, but I will begin to become concerned uh, soon. In the meanwhile, all the raspberries are leafing out and looking really, really good. And the honeyberries, uh, you remember they were, they had a little bit of leaves going on before. They are bushing out beautifully. And in a couple of, well, probably, and probably within the next couple of weeks, we will start hardening them off. Thank you so much. No problem. This, Anytime. I love uh, being outside, so. Me too. I'd rather be out here than indoors. Thank you so much for hanging out with us <laughs> while Jen gave us a tree trimming tutorial. Appreciate you. Uh, and we will catch, oh, Bill, wave. That, <laughs> we will catch you up soon. Take care. I, I can't trim that one. Which one? That one. Not gonna yeah. work. Yeah, we finally, <laughs> it took Fish us squirrel. a minute. Where is it? Oh, hello, friend. Fuzzy tail. I bet he's what was in your gutter. You think he was? Yep. Squirrel, what were you doing in the gutter? I was drinking last night. <laughs> that is a very happy squirrel.